It's been two weeks, and you thought that we'd forget? Wait, I promise I won't do it again. I promise, I promise, just stop! Can I take this off now? Hello? Oh, hey! Look, I haven't seen the camera in like two weeks. So I guess I'm being forced to uh, record a video because uh, I haven't posted in like two weeks. Hi everyone, it's Amy. Um, and today we are baking Pillsbury sugar-free brownie mix because last time we did this, um, it didn't really go correctly. Line bottom and two sides of the pan with parchment paper. That's okay, I don't need parchment paper because I didn't follow any of the instructions correctly. Is this the consistency it's supposed to be? But this one's pre-made, so it has to be easier. Efficiency, time, not wasted. Oven, not on yet. Video is starting. We need to set the oven to three, 50 for metal or glass pan. The pan I'm using, this is my makeshift, like, uh, you'll, you'll see later. This is metal, so 350. Oven on. Combine burning mix, oil, milk, water in large bowl. This is a large bowl. Fits over my head pretty well, so I believe that's large because I got a great big noggin. I'm sorry, did I ask for some Lay's chips for this here? Oh, it got on my face, it got on my face. Ow, my eyeball. This also is made with Splenda. My dad is, uh, what's the thing with the sugar? That. I know it's not Father's Day yet, but it's, you round a few days and it's almost Father's Day, right? Uh, oil, water, egg. Egg, water, and oil. I am the last airbender. One-handed egg crack. Ooh, the egg is, oh, it's fine. Now, you throw that away, wash your hands. Because you don't wanna get some salmonella on your hands and then regret it later. TBSP, table, spoon. Three. I'm not gonna drink this water. A uh, third cup. And now we put some oil. Ah, drop some oil. Combine with spoon. Okay. 50 strokes. I'm gonna have a stroke if I have to do this 50 times. I'm not doing that, I'm gonna whisk it. It feels too thick. Oh my God. Can you make a noise any louder? Maybe thicker than regular brownie batter. That doesn't help. I've never made correct brownie batter. I have a, a, this. So I also cut little tiny these and I'm gonna try to like make it in like a puzzle piece and connect it, like connect four, you know? Now it's just puzzle pieces. Wow, okay. So I lined it. Ooh, this is thick. Look at that. What is? That, that does not look, is that plastic? A worm? What is, that? I don't like that anymore. Wait a second. There, okay, I'm concerned now. So I swear if there's a worm in here, I'm killing it with the oven. What if I just like pack it all into one side of this? Or is there like such thing as a divider I can like whisk up? Okay, I got some aluminum foil. Like that, is that, does that work? How do I make dividers, like a, like a this? Can you do this, is this possible? And now we do this side with divider. Look at that, I did a really great job. I'm proud of myself. 28 to 32 minutes. In the middle would be 30 minutes. Ooh, that's hot. Okay, there it goes. I'll see you in 30 minutes. Good chow. Basically been about 30 minutes, so I'm gonna go check it out. I need some thingy majigs on my hands. It's very important to have your mittens or else you'll burn your hand and then you'll have no hand to be able to take out the things in the oven, so be careful. It looks beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful, it rised, it looks gorgeous. Chef's kisses, I think we have it, guys. Okay, now we take this off. It looks cooked. Let's see if it's actually cooked because uh, from what I can see, it looks cooked. It's cooked! So we, now we wait uh, for like 20 minutes and let it cool down and then I'll cut a little slice and then we'll taste test. Okay, so I was a little impatient and I put it in the freezer 
because I was like, I want to taste it. So now it's like a real cold, but it's still warm, so that's good. I'm going to peel this off first because I'm scared it's going to be stuck, but I need to take this off first. I hope it didn't stick. No, 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 no. Panic mode. Panic mode. It's fine. Let's try this again. No, no, no. It's fine. There we go. So besides that part, everything looks pretty good. Oh, it's crunchy. I don't know if you heard that, but it's real crunchy. Okay, I kind of ruined it. I should have waited a little bit because it's still a little hot. But I'm impatient. So I'm just gonna cut a real quick piece of the corner because supposedly the corner piece is the best. Okay, so I have my corner piece right here. Honestly though, it cooked really good. So I'm very surprised that this turned out like this thin. Like it's not that thick, it's like an inch. But it's said to do an eight by eight. And the batter was like half of this box. So I don't understand how small these were supposed to be. So I'm proud of myself. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 on uh, consistency because I was scared because I was like, okay, it's all thick. And now I'm a little more scared because usually sugar-free stuff tastes really weird. So, oh, I didn't blow on it. Crap, it's fine. Oh. Oh, that's hot. That's Wow, considering it's like a, a sugar-free one, that's pretty, oh, it has a little aftertaste of like Splenda, but that's fine. That's fine, it tastes real good. Pillsbury, besides that uh, little thingy-majig incident, this is pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm giving it a pass. This is a passing grade. This is a, not an A plus, an A. This is an A. If you have a sugar problem and you aren't allowed to have that much sugar, you should do the little Pillsbury Sugar-free brownie mix, because it tastes real good. Oh no, it tastes real good. So anyways, I know I haven't been posting lately. It's been like two weeks, but that's because <sighs> school, I guess that's that's the only way to put it. I have a lot of things going on, school, homework, more homework. But now since I'm going on spring break, I can do this now, hopefully more consistently than I have done it. In the past couple of months, I've not been that consistent, but now I hope I get on the right track and be more consistent on my posting. Anyways, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a like or subscribe. I'm not forcing you to do anything, but I would very much truly appreciate it if you did. I would really appreciate it. And I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My mouth tastes horrible.